I was just talking about you, Patrick. How people can call you at Fujinets and you can design the gym. So if you have a blueprint of your floor space, send it to Patrick. You make an amazing job and do this exclusive. 3D mock-up and you guys are gonna be very happy with this. So Fujimat.com. And also Fuji Sports too. Get your gear in there. The Shanghai Hibero Gi is in there too. So make sure you get that one too. Jason Cheng and Michael uh, Sentia. Uh, I will give this one right. I had I wrote this one down. Santa Seri. Santa Seri. Santa Seri, bro. For six minutes with IBJJF rules. Your referee in charge of this match is Andy Grant. Can we do Valley to the rules? <laughs> some, some, some smack fighting jitsu there. Okay. Oh, little guard pull. A lot of close guard, bro. You know what? You gotta wait for my next video, bro. You, the close guard's gonna be out of control. Yeah, that's a, that's the new thing. Close guard, huh? No, it's not a new thing. <laughs> I'm it's just trying to be funny. It's efficient. Everybody's safe. showing all the, the new stuff. I feel like everything just comes back around, you know? Well, it's like, uh, I call jiu-jitsu like an, an equation, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you, when you have like a sound system that things go up and down? It's just like a jiu-jitsu, you know? Sometimes your close guard is good. Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes your passing is good. Sometimes you can't pass shit. So... It's just how it is. That's the beauty of jiu-jitsu. It doesn't matter where you at. There's always something to improve or re-improve. Uh, Jason is coming off a uh, fight to win win when uh, fight to win was in Minneapolis most recently. Oh, wow. He won by a uh, Bravo choke. Bravo. Love Bravos. Oh, I can see oh. he actually worked in the lapel. Yeah. Worked the lapel, Jason. Let's go. Yeah, he's going to look for it. Shout out for our fight tween. Uh... It's one of the most, uh, it's so cool that uh, Seth and uh, all the people, Missy, they're doing an amazing job. They're throwing a tournament pretty much every weekend or other weekend. Yeah, that's their... Giving, giving the jiu-jitsu community something to, to look for, you know what I mean? They try to pay the athletes as much as they can. Uh, a lot of ticket sailing going on, so, you know, support those guys. Uh, eventually, uh, I do have a... A talk of Seth, so probably when I return from uh, my injury, Fight to Win will be one of the tournaments I really want to go and, and, and test my skills. So stay tuned. You know, they do events. You know, it's always a cool event. You get some drinks. Um, you can food. You sit down, bring your family. It's a fast pace, you know, boom, boom. Oh, it's, yeah, go. it's always a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Jason's got the lapel loose. I think he's probably looking to feed it. Yeah, that's one of the nicest things. Yeah, you maybe, maybe you yeah. Go ahead. You start to see more of the like the the pro matches like this, where it almost is like an MMA event, where it's you know really focused in on the the athletes, and I think that's cool, especially when we have like 700 people here for this one. That's that's crazy. Yeah, it's been so fast. This is what the, the the seventh, eighth fight already. Oh no, I think it's at least the eighth fight. Let's see. I'm nice behind on the ninth I'm fight. I'm behind on my ninth beer. fight. Oh, this nice is the fight. ninth fight. Can you believe it? Okay, I'm in my second beer, so it's fine. <laughs> All right, I just cracked open a uh, Pilsner. Pilsner. The Pils, Continental Pilsner. First time I've had this. I think that's what you're drinking, Bruce. Yep, and it's not too bad. I like it. I'm just make sure my lonely is not so lonely anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crushable. That's who, who, crisp. Who's on my ear right now? Oh, Spencer, come on, dude. This guy is like right on my ear right now. Anyway, Spencer can do it. You see Jason kind of working around. Might work for the back there. He's got two-on-one positioning. But see how his hips are flat? Yeah. Uh, if you look so, at the guy on the top, look at his elbow. It's almost across. Right. If he turns his hip a little bit right. to the left. Oh, see, he just yeah. got it. But yeah. He's, yeah, he yeah. just got it. Yeah. But, he must have heard you. I think he heard you. <laughs> yeah, but like, oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so now he's got the grip. But see how oh, he's, he's, he's got to get his right. chest He's connected. climbing up a little bit, but he hasn't well, fed it. So one of the things that I teach on my on my uh, side close guard is once you get into the side close guard, which means the arm across, there's something that I call entering the matrix, which is literally, it's just like climb your hip a little higher so you can keep that elbow across without really pushing into it. You know, I'll, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll, sense. you know what I mean? Because what happens is if you cross the arm and your hip is too low, 
it's easier for them to bring that elbow back. So literally, I'm putting my crotch right under your armpit because now when you want to pull your arm, your tricep is strapped. So if you, if you get a chance to get my video, I say entering the matrix, it's literally just climbing the hip a little higher so the guy can bring the elbow back even if you don't have a grip. Thanks. Sounds complicated, but once you see it's easy. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about stopping uh, in mid-choke and then resetting in the middle? I think it sucks. Yeah. They have all these things of like, oh, the, the safe <laughs> area, but like, if the energy and the action is happening, man, it's totally fine to just live a little longer, you know? I see a lot of IBJJF terrible stoppage. Terrible. It's like, they, they barely on the edge. And then energy is going. They they are nowhere, and they stop it. I think this is bad. It, it reminds me of modern judo. If the if the referee does not feel that you're making progress, you could mm -hmm. be in the middle of a choke. Yeah. And after five seconds, he's going to stand you back yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Which I which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, you need to understand what's happening. I think the the only problem about jujitsu, uh, I would say, BJJ rules, not jujitsu rules. Uh, yeah, you nice guys. I'm really looking to Kyle. More people are watching us. 117 people. Amazing guys. Thank you so much. Aaron Metz says uh, Shanji is a legend. Who? Thank Aaron. you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. I'm still there, brother. I'm not a legend until I die. I'm still alive. <laughs> so, guys, if you guys are watching us, I have a Facebook group called Shanji with an X, X A N D E B G J group. If you want to be part of it, just say I was listening to you on YouTube, so I'll let you guys in. By the way, too, uh, comment if the uh, audio quality is okay. It's pretty loud in here, so it's hard for us to tell if uh, it sounds good or if it sounds terrible. So let us know. Finishing seconds here, thirty seconds. By the way, my clock is not the official. Seconds. My clock's not the official one. We're just trying to replicate it. So, and I'm glad of that because right. I'm is doing that still a half zero zero. Now, shouldn't you have gotten yeah. an advantage for the? choke attempt i'm seeing on the uh, official I scoreboard don't, i don't think that was such a tight one he went for it but didn't really get it but he won the match you know he was very aggressive uh, a lot of work from close guard uh i i would rather watch uh six minute close guard attempt and reattempt than actually two guys on 50 50 try to go up I'll predict that uh, Jason is going to get the uh, the call on this. Max Jason Coppola, managed to retain way. guard and uh, was aggressive with his submission attempts. Your winner, my ref decision. All right, so Chang. Jason did. Jason Chang getting the win. One match left before the intermission.